You smell that? Y'all smell that? Oh, that's the New Year smell. It's officially 2016, so y'all know what that means. New Year, new- No! New Year, new- No! New Year and a new- No! God, please, no! A new year, a new me. No! New Year to me means that it gives us a new chance to not do the same dumb stuff that we did the year before. And the only way we can accomplish that is by leaving all the stupid stuff we did in 2015. I shouldn't even say we. All the stupid stuff that was done in 2015 in 2015. Because it's 2016, baby. New Year up in this mug. Stupid pranks that really aren't even pranks. Or the pranks that kind of go way too far to not even being pranks anymore and just being like, I don't even know. Help! Oh, help! He's everything I have. What the fuck? Sam, 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 what is that? It's a prank, Sam. Can't you tell? No? Me neither. Stupid challenges. Now, you know, it hasn't been as bad in, in this, like, well, 2015 that it was in 2014. What's up? Oh! No, no, no. Yeah, I don't I don't even know how that became a thing. But when you still got challenges like this, it ain't going up. It's not going up. It kind of makes me think, like, where did the line go? But then who erases the line between uh, a challenge and just who can be the dumbest, the best? Hoverboard, if I see another, mm, I'm so sick of seeing these things. Be calm, be calm, Leo. Ah! These things don't even hover. Boom, that's the definition of what hover means, in case y'all don't know. Now, when they first came, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, hey, you know, they kind of cool or whatever. But these boards went from blowing up as a trend to literally blowing up. Like, these boards are blowing up, literally. It's just a sign to say that uh, we should just let this trend die off until I start seeing hoverboards like my boy McFly got right here. Look at that. That's hovering. Look at this space. Look at that. I'm tired of seeing these bogus handleless segways. It's 2016, people. Leave that in 2015. Bogus relationship goal. Everybody out there trying to be in a relationship and have relationship goals. What y'all really need to do is start working on life goals. Stop slapping relationship goals on every picture you see. Any picture with more than two, with two or more objects is somebody slapping relationship goals on. That's probably his mama. Was that a family relationship goal? I don't. I don't even know how to explain this at all. I don't. What is this? <laughs> Donald Trump first to start off as a joke. I thought it was kind of funny. I'm like, hey, who would vote for this clown? This is a joke that's lasted way too long. I don't even understand why he's still even at debates at this moment. And people are actually there cheering him on for what? You interrupted me, September 30th. Are you gonna apologize, Jeb? No. If we had honest government, Hillary wouldn't be allowed to run. It has not been easy for me. And, you know, I, I started off in Brooklyn. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. A small loan of a million dollars? Let me check how much money. I got a dollar in my pocket. Wait, hold on. In a penny. Got a dollar in a penny in my pocket. Hey, yeah, is this Fred Trump? Yeah, I was looking to uh, get a small loan from you. Last but not least, and this is the most important Important, the most important thing I feel like of stuff we should leave in 2015 and we don't leave anything else police brutality now this is a problem that escalated dangerously like I'm gonna be straightforward about it I'm gonna I'm direct I'm gonna try to make it as simple as I can mid 2013 to the end of 2015 stop killing black people y'all ain't scared half the time the black folks running away from y'all so in a sense it really ain't no point in defending yourself but even without all of that as officers of the law you guys made an oath of honor an oath of honor with that oath risking your lives and protecting other people's lives was kind of in that contract. I'm not saying you superheroes, but it's a part of your job to risk your life. The problem is, I guess a lot of officers decided that, you know, they ain't into risking their lives anymore. Maybe it's just, they just don't feel like doing it, you know? And they feel like murder and manslaughter is like the new justice. So to all my fellow officers of the law, or law enforcement, if you can't handle risking your lives in your line of duty, do us all a big favor. Take your nice little standard issued Glock or whatever have you and take your nice little shiny badge walk into your chief's office and lay that mother down on his desk and resign I think you'll be doing us a whole lot of favors cuz ain't gonna be no more police killings in 2016 Man, black folks still trying to figure out how not to kill ourselves damn you don't need no help nigga Woo!
Hello. Woo! <laughs> oh, fuck it! <laughs> you <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think it's gonna work. Bust all over the camera. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. No!